Hello, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Melissa with 1S, but you can call me Mel. And I just wanted to say thank you so much to my 200 subscribers. I met my goal of 200 before New Year's. So thank you so much. And in this video, I just wanted to do content that was a little bit more relaxed, also motivating for you if you are getting ready to introduce the new year with your clean plants and that's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, so I'll take you through what I do when I clean my plants, specifically alocasias, uh, just because they are prone to getting pests if you don't keep on top of them. Thank you to my fiance for picking these lovely beauties. Um, so they are more high maintenance, but it's okay. Uh, you do have to take the time to clean them, check the leaves, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. And I'll show you kind of what I look for, what I do, what I use, stuff like that. And leave a comment down below if there's any other tips that you want to share with me to help me kind of prevent pests even further. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. Give it a thumbs up if you do like this type of content. I may do a part two depending on the feedback, or I may just do part two because I want to. Either way, I hope you enjoy and let's go clean some leaves. Hello, welcome. Now I am on my floor ready to inspect this plant. Uh, you'll see on my right or your left is my massive alocasia metalhead. It's a beautiful, stunning plant. And then on my left, your right, is my fiddle leaf fig. Uh, which is quite tall, and, but still I like to inspect it uh, and it clean its leaves. So first I'm going to be looking at the metal Metalhead. A little bit about this plant is that it's gorgeous for the different colored backings. So the top, when the plant comes in first, or sorry, when the leaves come in first, they come in as this light green color and they slowly turn into this burgundy color, uh, like dark purple, kind of basically purple metal color. Um, and the back, the veins are just so defined, they're gorgeous. I'll insert some close clips of this plant. Uh, so you can see the veins pop out and they're very defined. The um, stem is very thick and defined. Uh, and then on top you see the leaves are more of that green color when they're younger and then as they grow and they mature they turn into that more deep green almost purple color so this one was definitely uh, a showstopper for us when we went into the greenhouse and my fiance was the one to pick this out yeah something about these big alocasia type of plants and leaves and of course i'm starting to like them too i guess uh, but the one thing about alocasias is they are more prone to pests, which is why I find myself having to almost babysit these a bit more than a lot of my plants. Uh, just because since these leaves are so big, I find that they hold more dust and if they're dusty, you know, other things may start uh, sitting on there and then I find that the pests start to form closer to the middle of the leaf. I don't know if it's mealybugs or spider mites, I really don't. I think there may be mealybugs actually on this one. I'll insert a close clip, it's almost like a waxy if you can let me know in the comments below whether or not it is. Uh, when I spray them it does come off, it's not infested where it's like all over the plant, it's mostly in between the crevices of the vines on the backing of the plant. So yeah, so the cleaning supply that I use is a little bit of dish soap and a tiny bit of vinegar and then some warm water and I put it in a spray bottle that I bought at the dollar store and there's two types of cloths that I try to um, use one of them is more of a microfiber cloth and then one is more of just like a um, soft washcloth uh, but I don't know, I feel like this is still a bit too rough for the plant, which is why I go for the microfiber one. Some people say to use cotton or just use paper towel, uh, but I don't know, this one works for me. Let me know if you have any other recommendations on the type of cloth that may be helpful. So if my oh, cameraman can get a little closer, we'll take a little clip of me cleaning it closer um, with the spray. All right, so first what I like to do, um, FYI, I'm a beginner. I 
probably don't know much, but I do know a little bit of stuff when it comes to my plants. So this may not be the best way or the right way to clean the plant leaves, but what I like to do first, sorry, that was just a disclaimer. What I like to do is just spray it gently, just like a little bit of a mist on the plants, not soak them or anything, but just spray them enough so that it just sits a bit, maybe just on the stems as well and on the little ones, just spray like that, just so that it sits a bit versus me just wiping it and then being done with it. So since it's dripping, it drips down the middle of the leaf. I don't know the scientific names of all the <laughs> parts of the leaf, but the, the center section. And what I like to do is wrap my finger around the cloth and hold on to the back of the leaf and really get into the crevices between the vines. So in between these smaller vines and then the bigger, sorry, veins. I keep saying vines, <laughs> I mean veins, right in the middle there. Sorry if it's hard to focus uh, just because I am moving quite a bit. But I really like to get in there because for some reason that is where the bugs are going to be sitting is right in between all these little areas of these big leaves. So I just like to wipe outward gently just like that and outward just like that. So that's basically what I'm going to do to all of the bigger leaves. So once I do that, I will um, come back to you and show you how I clean the back side of the leaves. So let me just clean the other big leaves on top and then we'll do the back. All right, so now that the top of the leaves are cleaned and wiped, now I'm gonna do the back. Uh, so I'm just gonna get spray like I did the front, spray as well here. And then the stems, you see how it starts dripping. So now the stems are going to get cleaned as well. Then the backs of the big ones over here. Sorry, I'm going to spin this around. Okay. And I don't mind that, you know, if the cleaning liquid falls on the ground, I'll just after if needed. So I'm going to insert a clip on what I see behind these leaves or maybe I just inserted it earlier but it's this white waxy stuff just in between the crevices. I just sprayed it but hopefully you could still see a little bit of it. Now I want the cleaning liquid to sit there for a bit so that maybe it makes it easier for it to lift off of the leaf instead of me having to scrub. So I don't know if it's just the way that this plant uh, produces some sort of wax or if it's actually some form of mealybug or it's not Spider-Man because it's not webs or anything like that but anyways that's a, another conversation. So same thing, I'm going to hold it from the top and I'm going to go in between the crevices. And when I do that, that white stuff does come off. So let me just clean a few parts of the leaf and then you can do a close up of what it looks like. So the white stuff does come off. See, like it just slides right off. See, and then now it's all cleaned off. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that for the whole leaf. And this is where the patient patience comes in too because I mean, I don't wanna have to rip a leaf or damage a part of the leaf. So I like to just, it's kind of like I'm painting. <laughs> I'm painting off. Good. And there you go. 
So that's the one leaf. Now I'm gonna do the same thing to the rest of the leaves, so give me a moment while I clean the rest. I also just wanted to give a little plant update for this guy. So just to let you know, it is the end of December and this alocasia is pushing out new growth. I'm trying to focus on the new growth right there. So the newest leaf is about to give birth <laughs> to a new one. So these little things here is just the outside of the leaf uh, that's inside. So. It's about to give birth, and then this is the newest leaf for the smaller version of this one. So needless to say, this plant is quite healthy and happy because it's the end of December and it's still pushing out new growth. Uh, mind you, we do have a grow lights that we put on in the evening uh, for this guy and my fiddle so that it does continue to grow. And this uh, was an accident. One of our friend's kids were here and he just loved the plant so much that he grabbed a piece of it to take home. But it's okay, it's the smaller version. It wasn't one of the big leaves. I think it would have hurt more if it was one of the bigger leaves, but not much to worry about because obviously we are gonna get more and more new leaves as the new growth comes in, so no worries. But yes, just wanted to give a little plant update. All right, so I hope you enjoyed cleaning my plant leaves with me. And again, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment if you do like this type of sit down and just chat about plants and clean together. Maybe you have this playing in the back uh, while you clean your plants or you know maybe just want some inspiration to make some time to clean your plants. Uh, but yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed and I will see you soon.